To live a happy and healthy life, we need to take care of all the organs of our body. And these two guys known as kidneys are one of the most vital organs. They are located on the left and right in the retroperitoneal space. They receive blood and other fluids, cleanse it, and then send it to the whole body. Moreover, they regulate the body's salt, potassium, and acid content. Till here, it's all good, but once they catch any infection, they can start to create huge problems for you. Now keep watching to find out in detail what kidney infection is and the symptoms we may not be aware of. But before we begin, subscribe to Beyonce and click the bell so you'll get notified whenever we upload helpful videos like this one. Kidney infections are technically a type of UTIs since kidneys are part of your urinary tract. They are caused by bacteria called Escherichia coli that is usually found in a large intestine, but it wreaks havoc when it finds itself in the urinary tract. About 1 in every 30 cases of UTI leads to a kidney infection. The urinary tract is made up of your kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. If any of these parts catches a bacterium, you can get a urinary tract infection. Initially, UTI is not that bad, but if these bad bacteria or viruses travel up your ureters, you can get a kidney infection, meaning you'll be experiencing painful and unpleasant illness caused by bacteria traveling from your bladder into one or both of your kidneys. The symptoms are often misjudged as general stomach aches or muscle pain, but if your central body parts are giving you a tough time, you should see a doctor to know if it's a kidney infection. If treated promptly, a kidney infection doesn't cause serious harm but it'll make you feel very ill. On the other hand, if it is left untreated, it may get worse and cause permanent kidney damage. Urologist Dr. Kaufman of New York Central Park Urology stated in an online post, self.com, that this is a serious organ infection and people need to take care of it. Bladder infections are really uncomfortable, but kidney infections can really be deadly. Some symptoms of kidney infections often come within few hours. Can we identify what types of symptoms are these? What immediate actions required when we experience such? Here are 7 kidney infection symptoms you must not ignore. Number 1. Fever and Chills Continuous fever and chills at certain time of day is a sign of kidney infection because when the infection mixes in blood, it causes fever. So in case you have fever for more than a couple of days, you should see your doctor right away. Number 2. Back, side, and groin pain. If you have all these types of pains and you didn't eat anything spicy or exercise or pulled any muscle in your back, this means that your kidneys are hurting. Pain in the kidneys is felt in the sides or in the middle to upper back, most often under the ribs to the right or left of the spine. The pain may also progress to other areas such as abdomen or groin. The pain is a result of swelling or blockage in the kidney or urinary tract. Number 3. Abdominal Pain Another major symptom of kidney problem is consistent abdominal pain. Now if this occurs between the chest and pelvic region and is crumpy, achy and dull, that is another sign of kidney infection. Depending on the cause of the pain, it may radiate down the flank to the groin or toward the abdominal area. Number 4. Frequent Urination Most people urinate between 6 and 8 times a day, but feeling the need for urination again and again is unusual and is the way your body is telling you that something is wrong. Moreover, if you have burning sensation or pain while urinating, you should take an appointment right away. Number 5. Nausea and Vomiting If the infection symptoms are combined with nausea and vomiting, it means that the infection has worsened. A severe buildup of waste in the blood or uremia can cause nausea and vomiting. It is hard to keep anything down once kidney disease progresses because the stomach is inflamed. You better hurry in getting an appointment. Number 6. Pus or blood in urine Kidney infection also causes pus or blood in your urine. What is more, if the urine seems cloudy, you should immediately see the doctor. Number 7. Headache, fatigue, and general weakness. Patients generally feel very weak because they are running a high fever. 
The body is reacting to the infection by trying to eliminate it. Your body is putting all of its energy into treating the problem, which leaves you tired and sleepy. Get some rest because the body needs it to fight off bacteria. If any of these symptoms occur, make an appointment with your doctor today and get medications. Remember, pregnant women or people who have diabetes or UTI are at higher risk of kidney infections. If you are experiencing worrisome symptoms that make you think a bladder infection has progressed, your main question is probably how to treat a kidney infection. You absolutely can't do it on your own. Anytime you experience kidney infection pain or other symptoms like those mentioned earlier, don't waste time without seeking medical attention. A kidney infection, if left untreated, can lead to potentially serious complications such as kidney scarring or blood poisoning. The kidneys filter waste from your blood and return your filtered blood to the rest of your body. Having a kidney infection can cause the bacteria to spread through your bloodstream. Women who develop kidney infection during pregnancy may have an increased risk of delivering low birth weight babies. This is a lot of stress and pain to go through for something that, depending on your situation, could potentially have been caught earlier. To avoid all of this, whenever you think you have a bladder infection, see a doctor and get treated before it can progress into a kidney infection. Now how can you prevent a kidney infection? Here are some simple remedies. Preventing a kidney infection is really all about preventing urinary tract infections and getting prompt treatment if you ever get one. Make it a habit to drink enough water every day to stay hydrated. That will ensure you're peeing often enough to help flush out bacteria that could lead to an infection. Now, the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases recommends peeing as often as you get the urge, but definitely at least every three to four hours since pee hanging in your bladder for too long can help bacteria to grow. If you want to take good care of your kidneys, drink more fluids, eat vegetables, kidney beans, pomegranates, watermelon, celery, and nettle leaf. Apple cider vinegar and lemon juice are also known for killing any kind of bacteria, so drink them and stay healthy. Also urinate as soon as you need to and wipe yourself properly after using the toilet. Above all, don't ever try to self-treat a UTI. You just make it worse and put yourself at a greater risk of a kidney infection. If you have any bladder or kidney infection symptoms, that is a clear sign. It's time to seek treatment. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this to your loved ones. Thanks for watching.